So my presentation is about uh, uh, the regional thinking and regional acting against cancer uh, in Central Eastern Europe. And this uh, topic is um, the, the actually the message of uh, the Hungarian government as well. Or, um, and 21, the, the government of 21 other countries from the region. I would, I would like to show you uh, the aims, show you the, the results as well, but we had in the last uh, 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 two uh, years. So, uh, as the next slide, everybody knows that the global cancer burden is expected to increase significantly in the next decades. There are over there are over 25 millions, and uh, this is again a very uh, simple message for those who would like to think and to join uh, that uh, common uh, um, common activity. So uh, you can see that uh, in the next two decades there will be a tremendously um, uh, new cases, um, uh, uh, newly diagnosed, even even in uh, in Europe. Uh, the hotspot will be Asia, probably, that uh, the other continent, Europe, and uh, most importantly for us, for, the, for our Central Eastern European tasks, the Central Eastern European region. And if we can uh, have a look at to the cancer subtypes, then breast cancer is one of the most, most popular, one of the most important to think we should act and we should think together as well. Some numbers. If... How, how we estimate the inhabitants, the number of inhabitants in Central and Eastern Europe. It, it's, it's somewhere between, uh, uh, between 300 million and 500 million uh, inhabitants. And we will have, this is the estimated rate of newly detected cancer cases that we have uh, um, from, from the IARC, from the WHO, that we will have about uh, more than 1 million uh, cancer, newly detected cancer, case, uh, uh, cancer cases in the next uh, uh, coming years. So, and if we check the 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 the, the data and the incidence and mortality rates in comparison to other uh, other areas of the world, like Western Europe or, or Northern Europe, we can see that we have a pretty higher rate uh, of incidence and the higher rate of uh, of uh, of um, more of the mortality, and that that. Um, the incidence to mortality rate is actually needs our support and needs uh, some progress uh, in the next, next couple of days uh, or years. Uh, here are the data again uh, of incidence and mortality from 2018. And if you can see that that ratio, the incidence to mortality ratio is much worse, that much worse than, the, than the incidence to mortality ratio for example, in Western Europe. That's why we should uh, act together, and that's why we should uh, uh, we should think together to solve that problem. And uh, thanks God, our, uh, our governments and scientists are supporting that idea um, significantly in the last uh, couple of uh, uh, decades and years as well. So if you check the, the subtypes again, uh, typically, for the most uh, most uh, uh, important uh, five or six uh, subtypes of cancer, then of course lung cancer and the high rate of smoking is a significant problem. But even even breast cancer is a um, is a very much uh, uh, is very much important. Uh, 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 but we are aiming to to have some progress in that field. So, of course, the different incidence and mortality rates in our region. Um, there, are, there are some different risks uh, in comparison to other parts of the world, like the, the risk factors, the availability of organized screening programs uh, and oncological health systems. Uh, and there are some differences between the regions and countries, of course, uh, uh, of the continents and even between continents. So differences in the national health policies, in the healthcare systems and the financial resources and so on and so on, of course, there are co-factors for these um, responsible for these uh, somehow worse oncological results, um, but there are the, the differences the exists actually in uh, in uh, in, uh, uh, in, um, in 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 Europe as well. Here you can see here you can see the 
that uh, very famous occasion last year in June, Professor Kasla Miklos, Miklos Kasla, the, the, the Minister of Human Resources in Hungary, is the support of the Hungarian government, established uh, the Central Eastern European Academy of Oncology. Uh, some of you were uh, members of that uh, uh, and, uh, and guests for that occasion. And I can see that the 21 countries uh, of, uh, of the region signed the memorandum of, uh, of, uh, of uh, oncological common thinking and oncological common acting, which I think it's really, um, uh, uh, it was really a great result. So the concept of government of Hungary is that the scientific potential of the human resources involved in the oncological research um, um, and, uh, and, uh, and clinical treatment um, in, the, in the different countries are able to, to offer the highest level of oncological care for our nations and, uh, and our patients. Um, and also confident that the importance of the cancer problem uh, necessitates such kind of an international, politically, and professional cooperation. That was the purpose why CEO was able, uh, CEO was um, was established to able to offer a framework uh, for our uh, for our colleagues uh, actually. Um, so um, uh, that was performed last year, uh, and uh, there were. Uh, several meetings uh, uh, and the memorandum of, uh, of, uh, um, of contribution was signed by uh, the, the ministers and, um, and uh, some other politicians from 21 um, countries. So the CEO um, has a structure and the founding as well and an office which can support uh, even our, uh, our breast consortium um, and of course, that 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 uh, uh, that academy has a president. It is uh, was uh, it is it is me for uh, for the next uh, two years. And the academy has um, a board and a director and uh, the scientists who are involved already in uh, in that structure um, are able to create uh, 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 very successful projects. Uh, for example. Uh, an international conference for, for next year aiming uh, uh, clinical research. I'm proud to share the information that uh, Professor Andrei Kaprin from the Russian Federation, uh, um, the academician, uh, is the one of the vice president of the academy and actually Russian Federation is a great supporter of that uh, common thinking and, um, and common acting uh, project. The other one is uh, the other vice president is Dr. Ferenc Visco from the, uh, from Serbia. He is the state secretary from uh, from uh, from Serbia of Serbia. So here you can see some pictures. That session was held this year uh, in January in the House of Parliament uh, uh, in Hungary, and uh, we've established some working groups. Um, we have already a web page. And uh, those who are interested to contribute can find the working group, uh, uh, and they and um, they we would like to invite everybody to contribute. Here are some details uh, and the most important aims of that of our contribution. It's not only uh, onco surgery. It's not only about uh, clinical oncology. It's more complex, like uh, harmonization of screening programs or cancer prevention programs. Uh, uh, so we would like to uh, to establish that cooperation uh, with the support, with the active support of our clinicians as well. So the uh, the detailed projection and the detailed presentation of our aims and um, and um, and structure. Uh, I would like to to present. Do present the results and the whole story of the Central Eastern European Breast Cancer Surgical Consortium for those who are joining us uh, uh, um, online. And uh, that project uh, was actually established uh, one year before uh, in October um, at, the European, at, the, at the conference of the European Society of Surgical Oncology. 
by colleagues like Pat Kibrotko uh, or colleagues from Poland, uh, my good friend um, as a co-founder, David Murava from Poland, uh, uh, or Alexandru Bidaru, professor from Romania, and some other colleagues representing uh, breast cancer surgery uh, or the most significant centers uh, from our region. Of course, we would like to exclude nobody um, uh, from that uh, project. Uh, we would like to integrate all the colleagues uh, who uh, would like to act together and represent our uh, central region, uh, region to uh, other societies, to other uh, scientists um, who are already organized in Western Europe. They, uh, they have already talked about the common aims and uh, they have a decision what we can solve together and what we can solve alone. There are a couple of quite different uh, tasks and quite, quite different results. If somebody would like to, to act alone or uh, in the name of, um, of, uh, of an institute or a university or representing uh, that uh, 300 or 500 million uh, inhabitants and cancer patients from the CE region. So the first Congress, uh, uh, Dr. Besson, I've already mentioned that it was very successful. Um, we had uh, uh, several scientists and colleagues from the sea region and as well, uh, very, very important uh, and very friendly uh, scientists and surgeons from Western, uh, uh, from Western Europe, like uh, uh, Professor Kuhn. Uh, I'm very proud. Um, I can repeat myself only that uh, Professor Krivorodko is one of the most active person in that uh, cooperation and consortium, and uh, he and the national and the National Petrov Institute uh, was able to support our aims and able to, uh, to accept the second conference of uh, of. Uh, of the Central European uh, Breast, cons uh, con uh, Breast uh, Cancer uh, uh, Consortium. Um, nobody know knows that time that uh, we will have a pandemic. That's why uh, we are now uh, online and not um, personally in your beautiful city uh, in St. Petersburg. Would like to thank you again uh, for that um, uh, uh, excellent organization. So the, the, the CBAC projects, uh, the regional cooperation between the professional breast surgeons, uh, we've established uh, a textbook uh, in first in Hungarian language, then in, in English language. Uh, this textbook is very, it's not so expensive, very cheap. It's accessible for all the surgeons uh, uh, from the region. And I'm very proud to share you the information that uh, with the help and active contribution of uh, Professor Kriborodko, the, that, uh, that textbook is uh, actually in the translation phase and in the end phase just before the publishing. Uh, uh, so everybody, uh, even in Russian, Russian language, will be able to get the newest information about oncoplastic surgery. Uh, we had a regional educational project already, uh, some steps in that direction uh, to create uh, using the telemedicine. We had uh, already several sessions uh, between uh, the National Institute of Oncology in Budapest and between the National Petrov Institute in St. Petersburg. Um, these sessions uh, were actually very, very uh, uh, interesting and successful. So um, I would like to ask all of them who are interested in that project that please join us and uh, and share your thoughts and please um, share even topics uh, to be actively involved in that process i'm very proud that that international thinking and international active i learn a lot from colleagues even from from the west and even from the east and i'm uh, i'm very excited that i am able to to have a uh, new contacts to to, to scientists, to very, very good breast surgeons uh, from St. Petersburg, from Moscow, from London, from, from Germany. So this is very good. Uh, this is a fascinating networking, like, uh, like using the internet, actually. And the guys, they accept us. They accept our problems. And uh, uh, we, can, we, can, we will be able to, to know them, to learn a lot, and contributing some other project. This project, for example, is Project Bresso. So Project Bresso is a new one. 
Uh, it was established actually by Tibor Kovac, who is now the president of the European Society of, uh, of Oncology. And as you can see, numerous, uh, numbers of, uh, of really great uh, 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 study groups and uh, societies from Europe um, uh, that established that uh, and supported that project. That project uh, means to standardize the curricula and then the, the, the quality measurements of uh, the quality uh, mandatory um, acquirements of, uh, of, a, of a department or even, uh, even one person as an expert in breast surgery. So an accreditation, a, univer a universal uh, accreditation is uh, aiming and, uh, of course, uh, the Central Eastern European Breast Cancer Surgical Consortium is a founding member in that project. So we will be very glad to be involved more and more uh, centers uh, who are uh, accredited, which are accredited and involved in the project of uh, high quality um, uh, oncological surgical uh, education, to share um, information to be involved in that uh, even in that examination process. Uh, we would like to start um, uh, to, we would like to start to present our colleagues uh, and to prepare our colleagues uh, uh, with educational projects uh, to be able to pass the European breast surgical exam again. Uh, this is another project. I'm, I'm very happy to share you the information that even the the consortium is a uh, is member or already in the project of EUBREST. EUBREST and clinical research in breast cancer surgery, organized research is one of the most important topic. We should step forward and create our uh, evolution to have quality data um, from our everyday job and to be able to publish and share and analyze the, our, uh, our practice uh, to give evidence-based uh, uh, data for that projects. Um, the other one is uh, the other one is uh, already a questionnaire study aiming to present the facilities and the status of our uh, of our countries breast can breast cancer surgery the status the facilities the organizational structure in different countries we have the information already the the data are under analysis. Um, as well, we are in the International Congress in Düsseldorf. Um, uh, this is the, by Professor Christoph Andre, this is the one of the most prosperous and one of the most, uh, 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 most um, uh, noble uh, breast meeting in, uh, in, in the continent. Um, as well, we are very proud to have uh, several contacts to Moscow, several invitation or already to Poland, or already to St. Petersburg. So the contacts, the actually cooperation works already. So uh, the uh, conferences are conferences or international workshops with, uh, with, the, with the invitation of really an international team works as well in, in the Ukraine as, um, as well. So dear colleagues, um, as my last slide, I'm very thankful to be here, and this is the second conference of our uh, uh, consortium. We believe um, really uh, in that regional acting against uh, uh, morbidity, against oncology. One of the most important thing is uh, organizing ourselves uh, and uh, to do uh, actively um, uh, for that uh, aims. So I would like to invite everybody who are joining us uh, online. And thank you very much uh, for your kind invitation. Thank you very much.